Hi everybody, this is Faith. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Um, in 2021, the Lord gave me a three-part dream about Tabitha Brown. The first part was that her husband Chance was going to leave his career and he was going to branch off and start doing his own thing and even have a, a YouTube channel and she was going to help him to get it off the ground. Um, he would be interviewed by different celebrities and I saw that he would even start talking about his father, which was strange to me because... Um, his mom, he was raised by a single mom, but that was the first part of the dream. In that first part, I started seeing what the Lord was doing, and he was exposing Tabitha Brown, and he was saying that she knows what she's doing. She's, um, whenever she says God, it's a general term, and it's, anybody could say God, but it, which God is she talking about? Because it wasn't him. It wasn't the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but it was the God of this world. And so he quoted to me James 4 and 4 that to be friends with the world is enmity to the Lord. Then the second part of the dream was her in the bathroom. She tells her testimony about how she was in the bathroom and how um, she submitted her life to God. Like she said yes to the Lord and surrendered to him for him to have his way in her life. But God was showing me based off of that, I could see the bathroom was all dark in the bathroom. There was no light. So God was showing that this was not him. This was a God of darkness, the God of this world, because God in God, we talk about the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, God, that God of Jesus, that he in him is light and there is no darkness. So that was not him that she was saying yes to. And then the third part of the dream ended with her being in a trunk of a vintage old white faded white car with rust spots on it. And she was looking in the trunk and she didn't want nobody to see what was in that trunk at all. I, on the other hand, me and my daughter, we were standing directly in front of her and she never saw us. But what it was is that the Lord revealed to me that also she, well, I remember from looking at her, from following her when I did about four years ago, she did a video and I believe that it was a Fridays with Tab and Chance and Chance was going to work and her mother-in-law was going with her to go see a psychic that came from New Jersey. And that stood out to me as well. So could it be that the powers that she get is really coming from the, the demonic realm because she sees little signs from her mom who is dead, but the Bible says that when people die, they don't know anything. Well, look guys, in the midst of all of these things, I did stop following her, but two weeks ago, I purchased her seasonings. I thought just maybe I missed it because after all, I have a life coach who follows her and stuff like that. And then people that I look up to, they, they respect her and I just thought maybe I missed it. So I bought those seasonings and this and is what last happened. Last Sunday when I was watching um, G. Craig Lewis, but at the same time I was cooking dinner, I took those seasonings out of the cabinet and I began to use them in my food. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, throw them away. Well, I didn't. <laughs> you know, I didn't. I thought it was just me and I thought maybe it was just a hunch. So then I went ahead and I continued to use them. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, again, he said, she's a witch. And I thought, well, God, I was praying in my heart. I said, well, God, if this is really you and it's not me, will you please give me confirmation? And like I said, I was listening to G. Craig Lewis and it was his latest teaching and it was the one about Easter. And no sooner did I say, give me confirmation, it was just like two minutes later, I heard G. Craig Lewis say this. And so we ain't, ain't no vegans. Wait, well, let me tell you this. See, somebody, what? Yeah. You're not a vegan if you're a Christian. You can be vegetarian. But the term vegan is wicked. So look at somebody say, quit calling yourself that. That comes from which? See, the witches believe you can't eat anything with a face because everything with a face is sacred. Look at God. He showed up right on time, right at the moment that I needed it. So please believe those seasonings were thrown away. Then that led me to go back to my dream journals and to pull out this dream and that's why I was able to read this dream and actually repent to God for being disobedient um, according to the word of God 
Whenever anybody in this world dies, they have no more inheritance. For the living know they will die, but the dead do not know anything, nor have they any longer a reward for their memory is forgotten. Indeed, their love, their hate, and their zeal have already perished, and they will no longer have a share in all that is done under the sun. Okay, so you see that? When someone dies, they have no more inheritance with this earth. But then let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 28. In this passage, we see that Samuel, who was a prophet and also a seer, a true seer of God, he died. Well, when Saul was praying, he couldn't get a word from God. God wouldn't talk to him. So he went to a witch or a medium. Now, Samuel was dead and all Israel had lamented him and buried him in Ramah, his own city. And Samuel had removed from the land those who were mediums and spiritists. When Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him either by dream or by Urim or by prophets. Then Saul said to his servant, seek for me a woman who is a medium that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, behold, there is a woman who is a medium at Endor. Then Saul disguised himself by putting on other clothes and went. He and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. And he said, conjure up for me, please, and bring up for me whom I shall name to you. The bottom line is, I was disobedient. I knew what God told me way back in 2021, but I still chose to follow the crowd. But just remember, the Bible is, is clear. Wide is the road that leads to destruction and narrow is the way that leads to God. She is not seeing her mom. These are demons that she's conjuring or maybe somebody is conjuring up. It's her. It's, it's the, the kingdom of darkness that she's operating from and not the kingdom of light. All right. God bless.